Previously on Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, we helped him get his rocks off, I guess, and did the same for her. I see there's not much going on around here. My older brother ran away and my wife. She came back home one day, heavy with child. Such is a woman's lot in life. I've come for the priest. <laughs> You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. No when to fold them. No when to walk away. Here's our good buddy Urban, as in Pope Urban II, the Pope who launched the First Crusade. Of course I did. No man with a nose so stuck up that it acts as a rain funnel. Can't be all bad. Well, they say there's not much left of poor Procropius. Henry, uh, seems to have a bloodlust. You're in the wrong place at the wrong oh, God. What's going on? We can knock uh, that guy out. Hey. <laughs> 4.6k? Yeah, that's ours. 3.7k. 698. And now the continuation. Forward! Well, look at this, boys. We finally got it to work. Boys and girls, I should say, because I'm sure. Well, I'm not sure. But I probably have some female viewers. So, here's the good news. Look who we've got leading the charge. Radzig. That means we're actually going to be able to progress. To the break, quickly! I'm Get excited. I'm just so excited. Oh, we're gonna take this guy out so we can get our spear. Not another step! Ah! Not another step. He didn't say I couldn't shoot him. Oh, yeah! What the heck? There we go. Not your spear, dude. Guy, how is he not dead? Oh my god, there we go. Alright, spear time. There we go. Oh, it's so exciting to actually have troops. Oh, I've been wanting this for so long. Alright. Let's see if the spear is just as deadly now. this human. Yeah! See, all those attempts trying to get this done uh, taught me exactly how to do this battle. <laughs> Alright, cumin time. Can I even kill these ones? Apparently not. Alright, first one's into the cumin breach. Not another step! Oh boy. That was like five of them all at one strike. Right, they're archers or what I have to take care of. Oh, oh, we have to go over to that side. Alrighty. There we go. We got all the archers. God, that's a cool looking helmet. Really wish I could get that helmet in the end. Line up! Right. Go. We got everyone here? Alright. Up towards the top. So excited. It took me so long to get this to work. It was it was such a surprise that it worked. I was trying it just one last time before giving up. And then I was like, oh it worked. That's why it started the video right there. Alright. Let's kill all the bad guys. Wonder if they'll let me take the spear up to fight Rod. Probably wouldn't be fair. Bring a battering ram and smash down that gate. There's a lot of good armor up here. Should probably take some of this to see if I can make some extra money. Oh no, wait, no. Never mind. I'm good guy, Henry. Good guy Henry doesn't loot corpses. I always forget. 
It's so hard being good. I did see another spear up here, though. Maybe it's better than the hunting spear. Mm, not sure where it went. A lot of dead bodies. I'll stand here because I'm pretty sure we have to defend a counterattack. Aha! I was right. Normally this would be the point where I'd take out my bow and I'd just take out like Sir, a third of them before, before they even get up here. But this time I'm just gonna go stab him. Oh, they're really dedicated to the charge. Hey, you come back here. What a bunch of cowards. I'll let him go. Stand your ground, you dogs! Drive them back! Remember me? I remember you, though. Now where's my fucking sword? What the fuck are you on about? What sword? Hang on. You're the... Fuck me. I thought we left you to the crows. Tough little fucker, eh? What did you do with my sword? Judging by our last encounter, I'd say you made a big mistake coming here. Where's my fucking sword? But then again, maybe you've had some practice. I hope so. Because last time was too easy. <laughs> One quick jab to the face. My sword. What have you done with it? <laughs> Talk, you bastard! I'll see you in hell. Tell me, do you hear me? Tell me what you've done with it! <clears throat> I'd say you're um, flogging a dead horse there. Took him down. On your own. Well done. Nice work. You surprised me. He was a mountain of a man. He was the one who attacked Neuhoff. And stole your sword, sir. The thought did cross my mind. What did he tell you? If we'd taken him alive, the executioner might have gotten more out of him. Oh well, these things happen in the heat of battle. Anyway, we found a trunk full of coin down below. Someone was paying this gang very well. And there were some of Sigismund's barbarians among them. I don't think we've seen the last of this. Whoever engineered it was highly placed. They won't give up after one defeat. This louse was just a pawn. I'm afraid you're right, sir. 
Well, lad, we live to fight another day, eh? That's the fear leaving you, lad. Let it go. Oh, I thought it was this morning's eggs. Now, put it all behind you. A decent Christian shouldn't dwell on such horrors. I beg to differ, sir. I never want to forget this. The time has come for those whore sons to pay for what they did to us. You're right, my boy. But first, we all need some rest. We'll meet later in the upper castle in Ratte, and then decide what to do next. But come what may, you did a good job today. you pay for this. It's time for the next part of our plan. Give the word. Yes, sir. All right. So we finally get our room down here in uh in the castle. I love it cuz it's so convenient. This is the point of the game where I normally start to branch out and do side content, but considering we did a lot of the side content, I think we're just gonna see what the next mission brings us, so let's pick it up in the upper castle. Alright, so I think we're just gonna go see what Hanish has to say. My lord, I'm afraid you were right when you said these hostilities wouldn't end at Perbislavitz. That comes as no surprise. What has happened? My men reported two more attacks today. <clears throat> Ah, Henry. I'm glad you're here. It seems like we'll have another task for you. Come and join us. My lord. Greetings, lad. The bandits raided a few remote hamlets, but that's the least of our worries. They also attacked Merhoyed, and that's a much more serious matter. Merhoyed? Matthias is working there. They attacked right after the battle in Pervislavitz. Bastards are probably trying to prove they're still strong. But there's a silver lining. Villagers held them off, and they even took one captive. He's wounded, but we can still interrogate him. Your graces. I hope I'm not intruding. On the contrary, Master Tobias. Unlike Bernard, you are the bearer of good tidings. Or so I gather from the coin you carry. Tell me, how many Groschen did we find in Pribislavitz? My lord, I'm sorry, but my news is no better than Captain Bernard's. These coins are very good. Uh, that is to say, well-made facsimiles, as we call them. Uh, fac... what? I don't give a fac what you call them. I want to know what they're facking worth. Uh, that's just it, sir. They're worth nothing. Are you saying what I think you're saying, Master Tobias? Um... This here... Is just a pile of copper. Curva! Fuck! Plated with silver, so it's still of some <laughs> worth. <sighs> Kurva! Fuck! Is it a lot of work to make such counterfeits, Master Tobias? I should say so, sir. Highly demanding work. Especially to make such plausible forgeries. They would need a well-hidden foundry, several craftsmen, and a source of material. But they could just be brought in from somewhere else, could they not? Well, they could, but then again, the silver mines are nearby, and these groschen seem freshly minted, so... So we are facing a foe who has almost limitless sources of coin. That's all we need. Doppredel! Well, gentlemen, it's clear what we have to do. Interrogate that captive bandit, find out their numbers, and promptly cut off their supply of money. Otherwise, they'll soon have another encampment. They haven't already. But I doubt it, sir. Merhayed wouldn't have been able to hold them off if they did. Well, lad, I said that we'd have work for you, but it never crossed my mind there would be this much. You've already proved your worth as an investigator, so I'm putting my faith in you again. Go to Merhayed and question that captive. Find out where those brigands are hiding, how many there are, and what they're planning. 
And while you're at it, see if you can find some clues as to where this counterfeit coin is coming from. Very well, sir. Good luck. We're counting on you. All of us. Come report to me as soon as you know anything. I'll be at the lookout point near Talmberg. So it sounds like our mission for today is uh, to heal the people of Merhoyed. So we're gonna pop on over there and figure out what's going on. Hopefully we'll uh, be able to yeah. find out where the bandits are coming from. All right. Well, we're at the mysterious Merhoyed. I'm just kidding, it's not actually that mysterious. But I'm not seeing anyone around. It's kind of like a ghost town. Ooh, I know where Matthias is though. He's chilling up in the barn. Because that's, uh, that's where he works. So that'll be a good starting place. Mm, is that him? Looks like him. Yep, there he is. Look at the little guy. He's all tuckered out. Hal? You're a sight for sore eyes. What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, Matthias. Sir Radzig sent me here to investigate the raid. Sir Radzig? Looks like you've come up in the world, mate. You're here as his envoy? He took me into his garrison. Hal the blacksmith's boy in the service of his lordship. Who would have ever thought it? My luck hasn't been so good. You survived. That's something to thank God for. True enough. If I were in your shoes, I'd get the hell out of here. There's some disease spreading. Disease? Folk are saying it's the plague. Whatever it is, it's bad. It started the day after the raid. First the horses got sick, then other animals, and now people are falling ill too. Oh, damn! Are you alright? Well, at least I haven't caught the sickness. But you've been hurt. It happened during the raid. One of those damn bandits fell on me, horse and all. My arm's badly broken, but better than a broken neck. Tell me about the raid. What do you want to know? I hear one of the raiders was taken captive. I'd like to question him. Why, old Melahar let him have it over the head with a flail, and now he's locked up in the barn. But be careful. Why's that? That fucker killed young Straw, and his old man's sharpening his sickle for him. Melikar still hasn't decided what to do with him. I can tell you what he'll do with him. He'll hand him over to Sir Radzig's envoy. Me. I doubt Melikar will let him go willingly. The folk here are baying for blood. Lives have been lost. First the raid, and now this plague. God knows what they'll do. Can you describe the raiders? I don't know. They came at dusk, so you couldn't see their faces. About 20 of them. They weren't humans, though. They spoke Czech. You talked to them? No, no. They were shouting at us. They were very sure of themselves to begin with, but when we hit them in the woods, they didn't look so brave. I know you've got courage enough for any man, but how did a bunch of untrained villagers manage to hold off armed bandits? One of the village lads caught sight of them coming through the woods and told Melikar, who roused the whole village, and everyone grabbed what they could. Pitchforks, axes, flails, and we went out to face them. What? You mounted an assault against them? Aye, and that was the key. It was the last thing those whore sons expected. A few of them still managed to break through to the village, probably wanted to torch it. But even the women here were armed with what they could find, and they took the bastards by surprise. About this sickness, when did this plague start? The day after the raid. The horses were lying down in the stable, so we knew something was up. By afternoon, they were all dead. Then other animals started getting sick, one after the other, and then people. What are the signs that someone's getting sick? I don't leave the house much, but folk complain of fever and shakes. Some are throwing their guts up, and others are spewing from the other end. Has anyone died from it? Aye. Old Verba. Although he was already on his last legs, so no one knows for sure if it was the plague that got him. Either way, the animals are dropping like flies, and people will end up the same for sure. Who's ill now? I don't know. What with my arm the way it is, I don't go outdoors much. But I know Melikar and Straw have sick ones at home. Can I ask you a bit about Merhoyed? I haven't been here long enough to learn much, but ask away. Can you tell me something about old Straw? He's a woodcutter, tough as they come, and a hothead. He's been out of his mind since his boy died. Well, that's normal to grieve, though. Depends how you look at it. Folk are afraid he'll snap or drink himself to death. What's worse, his wife caught the sickness, and he's not taking care of her. Where can I find this straw? When you take the main gate out of the stables, you'll see two cottages outside. 
Straw lives in the right-hand one. What's Melikar like? The locals look up to him. Smil used to be in charge here, but he was killed in Neuhof. I know. Sir Hanush hasn't had time to appoint a new vassal, and folk need someone to speak for them, so they picked Malachar. Since when do subjects govern a village in place of the Lord? What can we do? If it weren't for Malachar, those bandits would have torched the place to the ground. The villagers won't follow anyone else. Where does Malachar live? When you take the main gate out of the stables, you'll see two cottages outside. Malachar lives in the left-hand one. All right, so I think we learned everything we're going to need. That was all the exposition I can stand. I'm just kidding, we're probably going to have more. But... I think we're gonna go talk to. Uh, I forget which cottage he said was, was whose. One of these is gonna be Strauss, and one is gonna be Malakar. So we're just gonna start with this one here, the one on the right. And it has a cross on the door, so I'm guessing it's a flag house. So that's fun. What do we have? Straw. Look at that. But we can't talk to him. We can pickpocket him. Um. Anyone else in here? <gasps> go. Go away. Oh, fine. I'll go away. I'll leave you alone. It's just me, Henry, the greatest doctor in all the land. He probably can't help you. All right. This must be Malachar's house, then. Another plague house. Malachar, look at that. Are you Malachar? Oh, aye, that's me. I need to speak with the prisoner. And why is that? Who might you be? Henry, envoy of Saradze Kobola. I'm here to investigate the attack. I'm sorry. I have other things on my mind right now. In case you hadn't noticed, we have pestilence raging here. And Sir Adzig won't help us with that. Any more than he helped us when we were attacked. No news has reached Ratai of any disease here. But I'm here now, and I can help you. Hmm. Well, since you serve Sir Adzig, you might be of some use. If anyone can be. Tell me what to do. There's a stable hand living with us here, Matthias. Yes, I know him. And he knows some girl who helps out in the monastery infirmary. Your hanker, I think her name is. She might know someone to turn to, if she's actually there. Very well. I'll go to the monastery. It's probably our best hope. Thank you. At least for taking the trouble. But then, even if you cared nothing for us, the prisoner's got the pestilence too. He'll die without help. If I have to go to the monastery, I need to know as much as possible about the disease. I'll definitely need to know its symptoms. They're bound to ask me that. It's hard to say. My wife is feverish. Others have the chills. I heard some are throwing up. Others still are breaking out in sores. But why don't you see for yourself? People talk a lot and I don't know what to believe anymore. Very well. I'll make the rounds. I've daubed lime on the afflicted houses. But don't stay too long in those homes. <laughs> That I can promise you. Alright, so we just gotta investigate the plague. Oh, that one's locked. This one's open, so this must oh. be where his person is. Go. Go away. Well, apparently they're all annoying. That's that's one symptom they have. So we're gonna... One of these houses might be a plague house. We just have to find someone with the plague or someone taking care of someone with the plague who's willing to share. I mean, not the plague. Share the... Not the symptoms either. Tell us. Share's a bad word here. Oh. These guys look pretty down and up, but he looks okay. Jesus, lad, what are you doing here? Can't you see the plague cross on the door? I'm here because of it. The monastery sent me to help. God bless you, boy. It's about time. I need to know exactly what you're suffering from. Oh, I see. Well, I have a dreadful fever. My wife, too. I recall almost nothing of yesterday. I was raving for most of it. Is there anything else? Apart from the fever? Oh, the agony. Well, forgive me for saying so. The shit just pours out of me. I can't keep anything in. I'm completely worn out. My wife's the same. You have my thanks. I'll try to bring help. Wait a minute, will you? I have one favour to ask. I'm sorry, I don't have time. I have to get going to Sasau right away. Well... If you say so, hurry. May God help us, otherwise we're doomed. All right, so he, fever, diarrhea, uh, puking. What else was there? Fever? No, I think I already said that. Um, well, I think they're sick. So, let's see, I think someone living in this house here has something to tell us as well. Either that or just a favor that we do for her, but 
It's a favor we can do. Who are you? Can't you see we have the plague cross on the door? Yes. My name is Henry. I'm going to the monastery to get help. It's long past time. The Lord's already taken my poor Antony. And what do you want from me? I need to know how the illness afflicted your husband. Yes, I'll tell you everything. But first help me bury my husband. I'm too weak. And Melichar said the dead should be buried at once. Of course I'll help you. Thank you. We have to bury him at the back of the house. There's a lovely linden tree there. I understand. I'll dig the grave there. Thank you. When you're ready, come back. I'll say goodbye for now. Alright, gotta bury him by the linden tree. Seems to be where everyone in Bohemia wants to be buried. If I remember correctly, that's where Henry's parents wanted to be buried. Or no, they just wanted to live there, but we ended up burying him there. That's what it was. Kind of morbid to have pre-dug graves like this. I mean, it does make it easier when the ground's all loose, but uh, a little creepy. I guess not. Some people buy their coffins before they die. A little bit much for me. I figure once I die, that's somebody else's problem. Grant his son. It's done. Thank you. Now please take him there. Oh lord. Alright, guess I'm just taking the plague guy. That's cool. Touching him doesn't scare me at all. That's alright. At least I'm sure I'll have some nice antibacterial soap to wash up with afterwards. Very common in the late uh, medieval period. Especially in poor hamlets. Alright, we're gonna bury him. Hmm. Turned out quite nice. There we go. Now let's see what uh, Bedrishka has to tell us. Will you please tell me about his illness? Certainly. My husband had the fever all over. Anything else? He had great pains in his belly. He said it felt like he'd been stuffed with rocks. He was writhing all night through. He must have hurt terribly. Thank you. All right. I think we have enough information. Let's go to Sasau and uh, talk to the medical people. All right, bright and early in the morning. So let's go talk to Johanka. Right? Johanka? Yeah, that sounds right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the right name. It's pressing the wrong button, though. All right, where is she? Yeah, how she blows. Henry! I don't know if you've heard about it, but Merhoyed was attacked. Oh, God! How is Matthias? Wounded in the arm. He's being brave about it, but his injury looks bad. I need to see him. Before you go, there's something else. What? Some kind of disease has taken hold in Merhoyed. Their livestock has died off, and now the people are coming down with it too. I thought maybe someone here might know what to do. Merciful heavens. How awful. It's a good thing you've come here. If there's any hope, this is the place to find it. You need Brother Nicodemus, the monastery physician. He may know how to deal with it. Very well. I'll try to find him. <laughs> Come back when you know more. Thank you, Johanka. Goodbye. Yeah, it'll be real hard to find him. Oh, there he is. Some kind of disease has taken hold in Merhoyed. Johanka said that you might be able to advise. A disease, you say? How intriguing. Yes, yes, it's very interesting. But can you help these people? I can't say at this point. I need to find out a little more. Tell me, has the whole village come down with it? No, I mean, not yet. Several households have, around half the village. Merhoyed? Isn't there a stud farm there? And what of the animals? Did they get infected too? Yes, there's a stud farm, and they've all died off. The horses, the cattle, chickens, and now it's got to the people. That is most intriguing. What are we to do about it? Do you know the symptoms? Yes, more or less. Excellent. I have several extensive volumes here in the library. Describe the epidemic, oh, including the symptoms, and we could take some guidance there. Sleep. Can you read? Yes, I can. Excellent. So follow me to the scriptorium. Come on, let's go to the scriptorium. Is this the scriptorium? Remedies for fleas and warts, please. Warts. Mm. No. This must be it. Uh, sure. And the where of is mucus. that avicenna hiding? 
there's also there's many inner humors sooner an interesting case of the imbalance of internal fluids like saint vitus affects humans and not animals saint vitus blood beacon one is such as poisoning which is manifested by fever and delirium stomach ache bringing convulsions diarrhea and great thirst if a person is poisoned by gas for example in mines near swamps or similar places there often appears on him a rash around his nose and mouth these people didn't have that however this rash does not occur if poison is ingested through food consumed poisoning is not transmitted between humans or animals but if they all drink for example from the same source of water then the people are infected as well poison from the water i think i have it yes and what do you make of it it's poisoning from tainted water really that sounds rather unlikely. But if Master Johann of St. Paul's says so, who am I to contradict him? We shall have to prepare some medicine at once. I could help with that. Really? Yes. I know my way around the alchemistic arts. An ordinary fellow who knows the arts of physic? Who would have thought it? Excellent. I'll give you the recipe. And you have my permission to make use of the monastery laboratory. I'll get started right away. I, meanwhile, shall head straight to, uh, where was it again? Merhoyed. All right, Merhoyed remedy. We need valerian, thistle, charcoal, and water. Sounds simple enough. So we're going to start with some water. There we go. There we go. Top that bad boy off. Quiet! You be quiet. All right, then it says... Prepare clean water, one handful of valerian, two of thistle, and some charcoal. Drop the thistle into the cauldron and boil for two turns. Well, how, how many of thistle did it say? Two of thistle? Two of thistle. So we need two handfuls of thistle in the cauldron and boil it for two turns. So, one. It's so slow to do it this way. I'm all about that auto-brewing lifestyle. There we go. So now we're gonna boil. Where's the bellows? There it is. One. Two. There we go. Now what does it say? Add the valerian and boil for one more turn and leave to cool. Alright, so we'll just grab the valerian and make it ready for once this is done boiling. Come on. There we go. We'll boil for one more turn. Alright. And then it'll say, finally add the charcoal, but do not boil. So that'll be simple. We'll wait until this uh, stops boiling, and then we'll pop our charcoal in there. There we go. And now we'll just grab our file. No, nope. no, file. I don't want to distill it. just want to do this. And hopefully we'll have successfully made the Merhoyed remedy. Did we? Yay, look at that. Now we'll quick uh, auto brew some more. <laughs> what can I not auto brew? Oh, I don't have the ingredients for it, of course. Well, hopefully the one thing is going to be enough for everyone. Let's go to Merhoyed. All right, let's find Brother Nicodemus and see what's going on here. So here I am. How are things looking? It doesn't look good at all, my boy. Do you have the potion? Yes, here it is. I'll take four doses. You take the rest and let's split up. I'll see to the Straw family while you deal with Melikar's wife and the rest. They wouldn't let me go near that prisoner. They want him to suffer. Despite his terrible crimes, to treat a fellow mortal soul like that... Perhaps I'll be able to convince them. I promised I'd bring them help and I've kept my word. They must let me go to him. I hope so, but in the short while I've been here, i found the locals to be rather stubborn. God be with you. All right, that seems fair. You treat Straw and his wife, and I'll treat everyone else in the village. That seems equal. All right, well, let's go, stop, st uh, the, let's go start and help the, uh, the weary widow, uh, Bedrishka, I believe her name was. Where is she at? Not in here. In here, maybe? Ah. You're back? I am. Yes, and I have something to make you well again. Good Lord above. Thank you for showing us your mercy. Drink this and give it to everyone in the house. I've also brought someone who will take care of you until you get back on your feet. Thank you, good Samaritan. I'm actually bohemian. But anyway, let's uh, pop down. I think there's some people over in the general store, if I, uh, if I remember correctly, that are pretty sick. So let's go see if any of them need help. 
Ooh, the sad music. I wonder if someone's dying. Let's see what this guy does. Brother! Damn, Daniel! You? We have to hitch up the sled! Yes, yes, the sled. Just you drink this and you'll be fine. Is this holy water, brother? It is. Drink some and give it to the others in the house, too. Brother Nicodemus will come to check on you. Alright, took care of that house. Let's go help uh, Malachar's family. I believe they're next on our list. Uh, no. Oh hmm. No. Well, I can't give it to her. Maybe Malachar will take it. Come here, Malachar. Quit running away. We found out what could be the cause of the affliction. And? You should check where your water's coming from. Nicodemus and I think that it comes down to poisoning. It'd be hard to poison the spring, but what about the well? Good lord, that's difficult to believe. Well, I have my suspicions. The bastards weren't satisfied with killing young Straw. The fucking bastards! I brought some help, as promised. Will you let me see the prisoner? I will let you, I will. Of course I will. My boy, if you've really brought a potion to rid us of this scourge, I'll let you do anything. Ah, oh, whether I've managed to rid you of the scourge, that remains to be seen. It'll take a few days before we know whether the potion worked. I know, but even so, just the fact that someone cares, that means a lot to us. Thanks, Sir Radzig. He's the one who decided to help you. Sir Radzig is a goodly lord. I swear I'll never utter another word against him. Now open up that shed. Alright, let's go heal the people in the last house and then go check out the shed and talk to the prisoner. What are you doing here? Lord, Can't you see I have a cross on the door? This. Yeah, I Don't saw. worry, I brought a remedy Lord, from Sasa. Drink this regularly, you and everyone in the house. A remedy? You have hands of gold, pure gold, my boy. God bless you. Alright, so that should be everyone in town other than the captive, so let's go help the captive. Should be right through here, I believe. Mm, yep, looks like it. Doors open and everything. Thank you, Malakar. <laughs> now let's wait and see what happens. Alright, so we're just gonna wait and see if the remedy works. So we'll pick it up then. Alright, we waited a day. Welcome back to the land of the living. What? Who are you? My name is Henry. And I'm investigating on behalf of Sir Radzig Kobala. Oh, I see. You'll have an easy job with me, boy. How so? I won't give you any problems. That's sensible of you. I'm a sensible man. Only I'd like to get it over quick and not keep the Rate executioner busy too long. If you catch my drift. I understand. What do you want to know? Everything. First, tell me who's behind all this. Who do you follow? I follow the coin, lad. We all do. That's not news to me, but who pays the coin? I got my pay from Runt, like all the men in Pribislavitz. And Runt got his money from the chief, and the chief had the coin minted. <laughs> who's the chief? The bandit leader? Bandit? If he heard you say that, he'd have your head on a spike. That's the kind of man he is. Nobody knows much about him, though. Only that he ain't Czech. He's a foreigner? German? Don't think so. For sure he ain't Czech. And he's got plenty of coin. I'd stake my neck on it. He's got noble blood in his veins. Judging by how he looks? More by the way he talks. Any man can dress up like nobility. But he spoke all la-di-da, like a lord. Where's that chief of yours now? I've no idea. After Privis Lovitz, he ordered us to raid Merhoyet, but he wasn't with us. He went off who knows where. I don't reckon he'll be out of your hair for long, though. So the chief is in command of all these operations? You could say. I'd say you're looking at it all wrong, though. How's that? You ask who's in charge and who answers to who. Only this ain't some noble court. There was all sorts of gangs in Privis Lovitz, big and small. Robber barons who had their own... Brigades calling them my lord, and common footpads who hadn't a pot to piss in. Men came, men went. Lots of squabbles, the occasional murder. Old cronies and old rivals were meeting. You know what I mean? I suppose so. It was one big muddle. The main thing was nobody asked questions. I didn't give a damn who the chief was, or what he had in mind, or whether he had one ball or two. 
All I was interested in was the coin. Uh -huh. How did you know about Privis Lovitz? Who took you there? A fellow by the name of Moorcock. We met near Kuttenberg. I was robbing burghers who were fleeing the town from Sigismund's army. We got to talking and he told me about Privis Lovitz. Why did you attack Merhoyed? The chief himself gave us the order. Uh, I reckon he wanted to show the local lords he was nowhere near finished. So he's planning more raids? The chief's always planning something. Privis Lovitz was only the start. So you knew the coin was counterfeit? Of course I did. I brought those Groshen to Privis Lovitz, along with a few other things. Did you? And where did the forgeries come from? Like, where were they made? I don't know. Some merchant by the name of Menhart gave them to me. We used to meet at the charcoal piles near Rovna, by the crossroads there. As it happens, I'm supposed to be meeting him there about now. So Menhart's waiting there? Might be. Might not. He could have heard what happened in Pribus Lovitz and decided not to show. That's all I need to know for now. F for now? For the love of Christ, boy, don't let the executioner interrogate me. I've already told you everything I know. That's for Sir Radzig to judge. Henry, I think old Straw's come for the brigand. Step back from that Eden, young fella. But, but you can't kill me. Not just like that. Shut the fuck up, you weasel. I keep it fucking shut. You don't even get a say. Calm down, Straw. He won't escape justice. After all, he's... Don't stand in my way, Malikar! Let Henry decide. He's the one who saved his life. He's coming with me. He's Sir Radzik's prisoner, and only Sir Radzik has the right to decide if he lives or dies. I don't give a fuck about you or Sir Radzik fucking Kabila. That bastard killed my boy, and I'm gonna kill him. You'll have to deal with me first. There we go. What's that young fellow up to? He's not helping that bastard, is he? That godless horse, that cutthroat bastard. But y'all calm down. I don't have to kill Straw, do I? It's starting to be quite the crowd in here, wherever they are. Hmm. But anyway, I think all we have to do is go talk to Sir Radzig now. So let's go there. God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? I've returned from Merhoyed, sir. How does it look there? I brought them help from the monastery. Brother Nicodemus and Yahanka from Skalitz. Fortunately, Nicodemus was able to cure the disease. Well, at least what he's doing looks promising so far. Thank Christ. Some good news for a change. What about the captive? Did you question him? He was infected too. I see. Did he survive? Fortunately, he survived and I had a chance to question him. What did you find out? He was transporting the false coins to Privis Lovitz. He got them from some merchant called Menhart. I don't know him. Neither do I. But I know where the money's handed over. It's not far from Rovna, and this Menhart should be waiting there about now. Excellent, Henry. We mustn't let this opportunity slip through our fingers. You go there and put pressure on this Menhart to tell us what he knows. Don't go yet. There's something I'd like to talk to you about. You haven't disappointed me. Nothing against Bernard, Robard, or any of those others. But none of them could find out as much as you. At least not without beatings and torture. And that doesn't always work. You're a godsend, lad. Thank you, sir. Now go and find out who's behind everything, and then we'll deal with them. Yes, sir. So, what is it? Sometimes I ask myself what, what it all means. Why does God allow such things to happen? All this slaughter and revenge. 
over and over. It's a hard question. I'm no theologian. But long ago I came to the conclusion that the only thing that makes sense is that it's all a trial. Life is one long series of problems to solve. The more you solve, the better a man you become. I never thought about it that way. Well, just look at the pampered ones who have no concerns in life, like young Lord Capon, for instance. I shudder to think how he will rule when his time comes. Tribulations spawn in life over and over again, and we must stand our ground and face them. So, I go to Sasso and solve this one. Hmm? You can rely on me, sir. Good luck, son. All right, so I feel like this video is probably getting pretty long, so this is where we're going to end it. Uh, we got a lot of options for what we can do next. I think we could do the Band of Bastards DLC, the Amherst Adventures of the Bolts or Hans Capon, uh, finish up a woman's lot. We could do From the Ashes. That should be open now. We could keep going on the main mission, do all the glisters, or there's a bunch of side content. So make sure you stick around, and we'll see you then. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you liked this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.